Ciao, Bella! Yes, this week on Skills and Strategies, we're looking at Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Easily one of my most favourite games of 2010. So let's help Ezio get all those unlockables, those hard achievements, as well as helping with some fighting in some of the single-player missions and the multiplayer. And, uh, yeah, let's hope we can help you out. Don't you just love travelling through Italy in this game? I mean, the culture, the language and the women! Oh, the women! Oh my god, somebody better cut me off before I offend someone. What I would do... When in battle, the best way to take down a bunch of enemies is by getting a killstreak going. Do this by either attacking one opponent consecutively or countering their blow. Then just keep pressing the attack button whilst targeting new enemies and he'll eliminate them one by one. If you're hit during this, it will stop the killstreak altogether, so try and target those who pose more of an imminent threat to you. In order to get 100% completion, you'll need to get all of the flags, feathers and collectibles. To make this easier, be sure to purchase the maps from the painting stores around Rome. After completing Sequence 2, you'll have the opportunity to leave the Animus in the pause menu, except when you finish the game. Head up the stairs and outside. Now you'll have 10 minutes to run around in 2012, which is plenty of time. Simply climb the building you came out of, the Auditory Villa, and until you reach the top, walk to this spot and you'll have found an artifact, giving you the dust to dust achievement or trophy. There's a lot of things to look out for in the multiplayer. First, try and blend in with characters that resemble yours. Move like everyone else and you should be a harder target to spot. If you need to run, do so on rooftops or very quickly so you do not give yourself away. Hiding on seats or in haystacks can also prove affecting when running away. Also, choose your perks and weapons wisely as they can be critical to your success. Smoke bombs are quite effective as well as knives and guns for killing enemies at a distance. Now if you're looking for all the shrines, you may have some trouble getting into the shrine of Cloaca Maxima. What you need to do first is repair all the aqueducts. Once you do that, it will fill up with water, allowing you to gain entry. To get the spring cleaning achievement, simply look for any guy standing around with a broom. Spook him so he drops it, pick it up, then run over to a guard and beat the cherry out of him to unlock the achievement. Also, those looking for ride and suit in the game, all you have to do is beat all the Animus training missions with at least a bronze. And that is our Assassin's Creed Brotherhood skills and strategies. Hopefully that'll get you out of some tight corners as well as make you complete the game to 100%. Now, as much as I love Assassin's Creed, and how Ezio is supposed to be this super sneaky assassin that hides in the shade and travels on rooftops and kills people from out of sight. I do find it a little weird that he's the only one dressed in complete white robes. And not just white, bright, nappy Sam plus white. Everyone else is in these dirty clothes. Aren't you going to see him coming? Maybe? I don't know. But he does look pretty good in white. I'll give him that.